Hey guys, Lamaru here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today we're going to be going over a secret room for you. And it is not the secret room I enjoyed. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely one of the hard ones. <laughs> it is the ally attack, rare attack. Oh, only you champions. did use my scrapper. <laughs> I did use scrapper. So basically, we had each built a team and we had kept it hidden from each other to see who could beat it first. Um, this was the first attempt that I've actually tried to beat this secret room on hard. And I did use Scrapper. I used War Maiden, two Cold Hearts because they're basically the only champions that I have leveled up to 60. And I actually used a Rough Stone as well um, okay. because he has attacks all enemies on his uh, A1. Sunset? Stun set a ones, yes. Look at you. I didn't even think of him. That's clever. Big brain plays right there. That's good. So I pre-recorded the run for us because we all know as soon as you tried to do this live, you know everything's going to screw up on you. Um, so I actually had it on auto for too long at the start, and Roughstone actually uses a three or whatever on a cold heart, which meant that I didn't have the chance to stun every single person. He fortunately did stun the one cold heart he attacked. You also and... got really lucky that yeah. Uh has one hp <laughs> yeah well that's the thing about secret rooms is you don't need everyone to be alive at the very end as you'll see in this run you just yeah. need to, them to be slightly alive and as long as one person's alive at the end and you've killed the enemy team you have succeeded in my eyes and i don't even think i land a single stun with him in sunset uh we'll have a look at masters and stuff on everyone my cold hearts are one is in a destroy set, I believe, and one is in relentless. And as you see there, rough stone goes down. So he basically did nothing for me this entire run, besides that <laughs> one stun at the very beginning. So I felt like it was a big waste to even have him in this group. Um, okay, I'm just glad scrapper can work because I did build one up, and yeah. like he was, he was going to be a part of it. So for me, what I did here was that I actually attached attack the Dilgal because if he gets his uh, decrease accuracy off on you, you will not land any of the turn meter decrease by cold hearts. You won't land your AOE decrease defense from your war maiden as well. So that's usually why I target Dilgal for first. Um, the rest of them don't really hit hard. Actually, Hatchet Slinger does hit hard as you'll see. Um, he basically like one shots my cold heart. So they get removed. We're just going to try to finish them off so that they don't actually get a chance to attack again. Yeah, 29k hit on my war mate in there. It's like, yikes. That's nutty. That's crazy. And it's funny because I guess Scrapper does have like 47k HP, so he won't be targeted at all. But he has like no attack. He has no speed at all. He was basically there just for a shield set. And so we're slowly going to whittle them down here. Man, like, Hatch's thing is like slaps. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that he never put up... I'm pretty sure he's the one that gets an unkillable, doesn't he? He has a... I just think or no, I don't think so. Oh, I might have been the other one then. But slowly and steadily, this uh, cold heart goes fast enough that she's able to get two turns. And we have Scrapper slowly dying, but we have our A3 up there. So there we go. were able to do it. Rough Stone basically did nothing there. War Maiden cold hearts, I would say, are basically essential to do these rooms. Um, the more cold hearts you have, the better. If you had three cold hearts, I think the run would have been like a minute, maybe, because Rough Stone basically did nothing. You would have been able to kill the first wave, and then you would have able, been able to use three heart seekers on the second wave, and probably renew all your cooldowns by the third wave. What I mean, you had the right idea, though. Yeah, what really helped for me was having the, the uh, Scraper in a shield set. Scraper. Scrapper? <laughs> Scraper. Just scraping up those scraps. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So this... um, Yeah, that, that was my original idea. I, I originally wanted to do Scrapper because, I mean, he basically has a kit where he can solo everything, but mm -hmm. I didn't make him to 60 because I didn't know if I, I... I didn't fully commit. I, I didn't full send. Yeah. So this so. was my fast cold heart. I use her in my three-man Fire Knight team. So she's fast, has enough crit rate, crit damage, and an accuracy to land her stuff. Uh, everything's booked, obviously, on her, and she is actually in Helm Smasher and Sniper. And she's actually in Blood Shield. Maybe that Blood Shield helps her out a bit. I'm not too Perhaps. sure why she's in that. She should probably be in Methodical. Uh, second, Cold Heart, is the one in Flawless Execution. Same support stats she's just in relentless right now she doesn't even have 
all her crit rate. I'm pretty sure Rotos is using some of her equipment as well. <laughs> like that's, she's, how my, that's how my second cold heart looks too. She's using a level 8 crit damage banner, so definitely doable gear on that one. Uh, War Maiden, I just wanted her to be the fastest on my team, so I had made her like 3 speed faster than the first cold heart. So her, she's crit, got... damage is, her crit damage is up there. <laughs> yeah, it's just because she's got gloves and she doesn't even have like a fully maxed out crit damage amulet either too. Yeah, it's whatever. I think it's probably because yeah, she's in a crit damage set. That's why she is if obviously she's critting. If she's critting, she's doing damage. She's obviously booked. What I should have done is I should have had her in cycle of violence so that she was decreasing her A three, so that it was up more likely on each wave. Yeah. Uh, so probably would have taken her out of cycle of magic, and I would probably put her instead of Lord of Steel. I would probably put her in Evil Eye instead for that chance to decrease turn meter. It's funny, like these are champions I literally haven't touched in like six, seven months. Well, I've, I've looked at the cold hearts, obviously, but my war maidens and stuff, like I don't think I've looked at her masteries in like six months. Yeah, well, I mean, since you went whenever it was that you would have built her. Yeah. Uh, so Scrapper, literally just in a shield set here. Um, as long as it had HP on it, it was fine. I didn't even look at the substats. Basically, there's no speed at all on him. That and speed I, is cracked. <laughs> yeah. And then I just tossed him in like my best shields that still had like HP percentage on it. So like seriously. Um, and then just I went HP HP, just tried to get as much HP on him as possible. Got him up to 46k. Considering he was at level 50, I'm pretty sure that's fine. I fully booked him out. I don't he didn't need to be booked at all. It was a waste of like 17 books or whatever it was. Uh, but he does have the nice ally attack in Doom Tower as well, which enables all the attack champions to do more damage. And as you saw there, zero mastery as well. Rough Stone is not mastered. He is booked as well, as we saw there. Probably didn't need to be booked either. I mean, you were just using him for his A1, basically. So, I mean, yeah. not, not really. Yep. Um, I do have him kind of fast, kind of high crit rate, crit damage. But he has super low attack, super low HP. I didn't really had no defenses. <laughs> yeah, he was basically like, "I'm gonna either stun you or I'm going to die." Build, but that's what happened. He stunned one person, then just died. So that's yeah. Look that's at that. His... Look at that defense at level fifty. Yeah, four fifty three. Oh my god, he's a beast. Yeah. So, like I said, you don't need your champions to be alive. You don't need to three star these stages. And uh, that's a key point that a lot of people kind of maybe forget if you're used too used to faction wars, I'd say. Yeah. And one of the reasons why we wanted to make this video is because, according to the data mine, so I'm not going to say this is 100% confirmed, so don't blame me if you go and level up these champions, there is going to be another rare attack secret room coming <laughs> up in the next Doom Tower next patch. So... Get your second yeah, there's a, couple, there's a couple weird secret rooms coming out that I'm not really sure of. There's this one. There's the uh, rare magic and rare spirit. That's going to be terrible for me. Um, yeah. If we have a look at how many rare spirit champions I have, zero. <laughs> I don't think I have any rare spirit champions like at level sixty. Um, I don't even. I think I have any rare spirit champions. Yeah, we need Armager, which sucks. Oh, I have. Uh, you got, you got. Who is that? Fury Stoker. Yeah, Fury Stroker. <laughs> and I have. Oh, Metal Shaper as well. So I have two. I mean, that you're in a much Ooh. better position than I am. No, oh, is this Gnarlhorn? Gnarlhorn? Yeah, Okay. Gnarlhorn would be really good for that as well. Um, <clears> and then <throat> I think it's time, to, it's time to book a or beef up a gnarl horn then yeah exactly gnarl horn's gonna be in there and then i think the magic ones you can just run diabolist run five diabolist <laughs> well yeah and apothecary oh yeah that too yeah uh maybe grappler will come in handy as well i think what about this ghoulish ranger <laughs> i gotta make sure not to use these guys as food if this is what's gonna be in the next doom tower all right, but that's about it for this one, guys. Um, let me know, because this was literally the first time I actually finished this secret room. Um, probably could have gotten Thea a lot quicker if I actually decided to do this sooner. 
what teams did you guys use to kill this secret room and what other secret rooms are you having trouble with because we're going to try to make some guides on those as well to help you guys out and try not to do the most like hey use five legendaries for the uh support secret room <laughs> although that is probably the easiest way to yeah. do it <laughs> that's like the only way to do it the support one is just nutty with how many um heals and revives and stuff there are well if you're lucky you have seer and you could just yeah. use that but i i mean I, I feel like your molly would come in clutch here Actually, the easiest way I did this one, I believe I did double ally attack and just used Sinesha. I support. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, so maybe this is the one we'll do next. Let us know down in the comments, guys. This has been Lamaru. If you enjoyed this content, toss a like, and if you want to see more, toss a sub.